You've all heard the story of the plucky entrepreneur who makes it big, but we never really hear about how they got there. So Tech City News and property expert JLL have teamed up to present the story of a startup, from idea to IPO. It all starts with one of these, but right now all it's doing is keeping you warm on that sofa. To get any further, you'll want to find a co-founder, usually someone who can do the things you can't. A few months of late nights at the coffee shop and you've got yourself your first proof of concept. But to get that far, you've had to split your ownership down the middle. It's only fair, right? So far, so good, but you won't get much further without some of this, the oxygen of a startup. You need an investor, and at this stage, it's often a friend or family member with a bit of cash to spare. Let's say they give you 15 grand, but in exchange, they want 10% of the company. Well, hang on, you don't have a company yet, so now's the time to get it registered. You'll also need to open up an options pool. This is a protected section of shares that you're reserving for early employees. That first investment buys you some desks in a co-working space and some freelance developers. Now, this is usually where you go in search of an angel investor. They're people with some extra cash and a healthy sense of adventure. Let's say you find one who will give you a big investment in exchange for 10% of the company. Your slice is getting smaller, but the pie is getting bigger. But to keep growing, you need to hire and fast. But where are all those people going to go? Now's the time to find your first grown-up office. It's a challenge and you've got lots of things to think about. But luckily, there are experts out there who can help you make the right decision. Your startup is as popular as it's ever been and you're one of the big players in your market. But second place is no good in startup land. So you need the help of one of these. Many hours in an elevator later and you manage to get a six-figure investment in return for 33% of your company. That's a lot, but don't forget that means your company is now potentially worth more than three million. And so you keep on hiring and before you know it, it's time to upscale your office again. You need more space and a longer lease and some cool logos and probably a ping pong table too. Some startups go through several rounds of venture capital. It depends on how soon they can start turning a profit. But by now, you're an international player with offices popping up all over the world. Now, this causes all sorts of problems, so you'll need help here from a property expert who knows about international markets. But now the rumors are starting. Are you going to float on the stock exchange? An IPO means any member of the public can buy your shares. That means a whole lot more money, but also a hell of a lot more regulation. You decide to go for it though, and after a lot of paperwork, the bell sounds, and you're now worth billions. Congratulations, Zuckerberg, you've made it. So there you have it, your impossibly easy guide to starting a startup. Right now though, it's just you and that light bulb, and you've got work to do. If you're still confused, we've put together a handy property guide to show you the way. You can click right here.